the church with your sacrificial death and mighty resurrection. Grant us devotion that we may abide in the teaching of the apostles and honor the fellowship of the church. Guard us against all enemies of your word and keep us within the care of your flock. Mighty shepherd, you hold in your hands all the might of men and you hold accountable those who govern us Grant to us good government and good leaders who will honor your purpose, protect your people, serve the cause of justice, and defend our liberty against all threats. Give them wisdom and moderation in the pandemic response. Loving Shepherd, you love the whole world enough to shed your blood, and you desire that all would be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. Inspire and equip your church and her ministries to speak faithfully and boldly of your word and bless all those who serve us on your behalf. Holy Shepherd, you have clothed us with Christ's righteousness and taught us to love all that is good, right, and true. Bless all artists and composers and musicians and craftsmen and writers that they may employ all their skills for your glory and in service to the gospel. Merciful Shepherd, your wounds are our healing, and your voice calls us to you in time of need. Hear us on behalf of all those who suffer in body or mind, who grieve uh, those whom they love and to whom death draws near. We pray especially for Russell Miller, who is the father of Amy Maloney, Nancy Losher, recovering from surgery, Karen Filling, Paul Meyer, Les Painter, Paul Nickham and Ralph Settlemeyer, who are having health concerns, and also all of those who we name in our hearts. Grant them healing according to your will, grace to sustain them in the day of trouble, and hope of a new and everlasting life to come. We ask for your comfort for the family and friends of Christy Grubb, daughter of Warren Perkins, and also Norma. Uh, Webeking, who is the sister of Mary Ann Gallmeyer, who were called to their heavenly homes. We pray for the promise of resurrection to resound in all those who mourn the death of loved ones so that we look forward to the reunion in heaven. Be with the unemployed, the distraught, and return them to health and livelihood. Thank you for your continued care upon Wilmer Brad Miller, who is serving his who is celebrating his, 70, uh, his 90th birthday, and Charlene uh, uh, Vondren, who is celebrating her 80th birthday. And we ask that you bless them with a knowledge of your presence all along life's journey. Gracious Shepherd, you seek out those who have fallen and restore the sinner to repentance. Send forth your Holy Spirit to rekindle faith in the hearts of those who have fallen away. Giving Shepherd, you have not withheld anything from us, but emptied your, yourself fully upon the cross that we might be saved. Move our hearts to such devotion and teach us to give generously of our tithes and offerings from grateful hearts that serve our neighbors in need with resources that you have supplied to us abundantly. O oh, great shepherd, good shepherd, we pray you to hear your sheep and answer our prayers with mercy, granting us those things profitable for us and our salvation, and keeping from us all things harmful. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. A personal note, and that is one of thanksgiving for all of you who are continuing to support the ministry here at Emmanuel. It's truly been uh, wonderful and encouraging that you have been doing that. So God bless all of you as we continue through this pandemic, and we look forward to the time we're together in this place, uh, worshiping God together.
and now receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen. Please enjoy the closing. Sure.